Hey guys, Scott Hotel, Certified Personal Trainer, TrainingBasicWing.com. It's time to wake up. Time to wake up, rise and shine. Time to give yourself a good kick in the butt and wake up those glutes. Let's do it. The first exercise we can do is a bridge and it's one of the best movements you can do to help kick your butt into high gear. Lie on your back and focus on using your glutes to raise yourself off the ground. Go up until your torso, hips, and legs form just about a straight line. Hold for a few seconds, then lower yourself back down slowly. It's common to feel your lower back and hamstrings doing most of the work at first, and you may find it difficult, if not impossible, to use your butt to do any part of the exercise. But keep practicing. Use a pillow or yoga block if you need help getting all the way up from the floor and really focus on squeezing your butt the best you can on every rep to keep developing that mind-muscle connection. When you're comfortable doing this exercise, add a resistance band to help target the glute medius and minimus, which combined with the glute max, form our entire glute muscle group. These muscles abduct the hip helping you move your leg laterally, or to the side, away from you. The goal here is to keep your leg stable while generating enough force outwards to keep the resistance band tight against your legs. Another way we can target the glute medius and minimus is by doing the clamshell exercise. All you need to do is lie on your side with your knees bent and raise your top leg or knee while keeping your feet together. Make sure to keep your hips perpendicular to the ground to avoid rocking backward as you raise your top leg. You can also use a band by wrapping it around your legs above your knee, but make sure it's not too much resistance where it causes you to rock backwards to help lift your leg up. Always keep your hips perpendicular to the ground. You can also perform a similar exercise with your legs straight. This is called a sideline hip abduction. There's two important points to remember when performing this exercise. One, we already know. Keep your hips perpendicular to the ground. The next, lead with your heel and not your toes when raising your leg up. Why? Because it helps keep your hips from leaning backwards. So if you find you're feeling this exercise more in your upper thigh than the side of your butt, you're probably making this mistake. But it's okay, I've done it too. Just adjust your hips and feel what a big difference it makes. Just like the previous exercise, use a band if you want to increase the resistance, but start out light, because you won't need very much to feel this one. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it helpful or have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Click these videos or visit trainingbasically.com for more.